Marcus at Board Game Cavern, and welcome to a playthrough walkthrough of The Thing, Infection at Outpost 31. I'm going to walk you through it, show you how to play it, show you how to set it up. Let's do it. So here's the thing. It's a one to two hour game for four to eight players, age 17 and up. To start, lay out your Outpost 31 map and place the objective tracker and the infection tracker at the top of the board. Then grab the computer, marker, and set the, the infection level at zero. All the characters will roll two dice. Whoever rolls the highest gets to be the captain, and he gets the gun, because the guy with the gun makes the rules. Next, take your character boards, which are indicated with three colors based on department, science, ops, and maintenance. Break them into three piles of four each, and then the, the players will go around, starting with the captain, will go around and pull their character from the pile, the pile with the most cards in it at that time. So right now they're all four. If I take McCready, which makes me amazing, then the next player would have to pull from one of these two decks to, to make sure there's an even distribution of departments. Grab your cards according to your group, mix them up, shuffle, shuffle, and put them right here in the mission log in the center of the board. Next, you're gonna grab this pile, which is ropes, dynamite, and flamethrowers, and make three piles right here next to the board, face up. Then grab all the number one sector one room chips, face down, shuffle them up, and then you're gonna put them in the corners of each of the rooms here in sector one, this light gray air zone here. And you're gonna do the same thing for sector two. Shuffle them up, they go in the dark gray. These are gonna be the encounters and things you find in the room when you enter it. Could be good, could be a thing. Then you're gonna grab number three and do the same. Then find the character piece for your character, in this case, McCready, looking awesome with his flamethrower and his cool beard. Put those guys all in the rec room, the entire crew. Okay, next you're gonna build the blood sample deck and issue those cards to the players. So look at your zero assimilation on page eight and find the number of players you have playing, four through eight, and you're gonna do it like this. So if you're playing with four players, you're gonna have three humans, one imitation. Then you're gonna build a blood sample deck of seven humans and one imitation, which will come into play later. So, I grab three humans and one imitation, like this. I shuffle them face down, and I deal one to each player. They look at it, and they put it face down. We'll take seven humans, another imitation, turning them face down, shuffling them, and this will be your blood sample deck, which will be used later in the game as you explore to see if you have become infected. And next, you're gonna take the supply deck, you're gonna shuffle that up, and you're gonna deal five supplies to each player. Place the remaining supplies in the supply deck here, and you're ready to play. Okay, if you have the gun, you're the captain. So you get to pull the mission log, which is the first step on your turn. Now, if it's an, an event, like a power outage in the current sector, just that has to be resolved before you can look at the next log. So, we want to roll to determine the room. The roll to determine the room is a three. Power went out in room number three. Now we will need a flashlight to be able to go into that room. Okay, now that we've resolved that event card, we, uh, the captain pulls another mission log card to get a mission. And this is a three player mission. Now you're gonna see a color and an icon up here, which is the number of players of that um, particular department that you need to have on the team that you're picking as captain. So in this case, I have a maintenance and one of them. So we're all set. Uh, this says shuffle, then reveal a random card. If it is a Petri dish, you pass. So we're gonna put it here. Now. I pick the room. Oh, and it's a three player team, so I have to pick three people. Now if I have four players, I'm gonna pick the three, the two other players and myself, because Captain always goes, that are gonna go explore a room, the ones I trust the most. In this case, I don't know who's who. One of them is an imitation, so I'm gonna go ahead and take myself, 
and Windows, and Blair. And we're all going to go to the, the common office over here. And now, everybody that's in the crew that I've team that I've built hands me one of their supply cards. Now one of these people, one of these blood samples is infected and they are an imitation. In this case, it's Windows. Just letting you know. So everybody puts in one card, including McCready. Now I have two sabotage cards, but I'm human. I don't want to do that. But I know we need a Petri dish, so I'm going to give them a Petri dish. Face down to the captain. And then Windows doesn't have a sabotage card, so he can't mess with anybody. But he doesn't have a petri dish, he can't do anything, he's got four flashlights. So he's gonna put a flashlight, face down. And Blair. Blair has a sabotage, but he's a human, he doesn't want to use that. He does not have any petri dishes to give, so he gives copper wire, face down. The captain takes all the cards, shuffles them under the table so he can't see what's what. Then the captain gets to look at the cards privately. So he's going to look at these cards and say copper wire, flashlight, and petri dish. Great. These three people may not be imitations because I don't see a sabotage card here. Then the captain may swap out a supply card out of the pool. During a swap, I can take a single card out of here. Say if it's a sabotage and I'm human, I don't want to have that happen. I would take this out, put it over here, and draw a new one. Aha! Another petri dish. Then the captain it reveals as many cards as it says to reveal. So it says to pass this, we need to shuffle, then reveal a random card. If it is a petri dish, you pass. So uh, he's going to shuffle. And if it's a petri dish, we have two out of three options for that. Petri dish, we pass. These go in the discard. Now we reveal the room chip because we passed the room. We flip this over and it says discard. That means every one of these people can discard one card and grab a new one. So Blair is a human, so he's going to get rid of the sabotage. So that goes here, he grabs a new one. Hopefully it's not a sabotage. It is a fire extinguisher. He is happy. Windows has a lot of flashlights and he wants sabotage cards. So he's going to grab a new one. It's a knife and a McCready has a lot of sabotage cards. He's getting rid of that and grabbing a new one. Gun. And the player who remained in the rec room that didn't come with us gets has the option now of, if I had a fourth player, they would discard one supply and grab a new one if they wanted to, if they chose to. Okay, so let's say, for an example, we wanted to go explore the storage room. So we all move into the storage room. Let's say we pass the mission log, and now we're going to flip this over. And this one, in this case, is rope, which means the captain, which is McCready, grabs the rope card right there and it has one use remaining. You can either skip the current captain or leave a teammate behind back in the rec room. And then what you can do is if you don't trust your current captain, you can actually play this rope and tie them up, thereby rendering them helpless for that round. Just like in the movie. You cannot go on a mission, you cannot discard a card. <laughs> Brutal. This is the objective tracker. So what you're gonna do is try to fill these in with rope and thing. And once you fill a certain sector, you deal with assimilation and move on to the next one. And once you fill all of these, you can escape. So we just found the rope. So we're gonna put the rope here. Now all we have to do is find the thing and then deal with assimilation. Now as an example, let's say this team, the same team went to the vehicle building. Let's say they've passed their objective and now they're investigating and they find the thing. In this case, you're gonna grab thing one, which is the small one, that's the spider. Spider head, um, spider eyeball thing, and put it right here. And it's time to do battle, just like the movie. So, every character, just like when you're trying to pass a room, every character is going to turn in one supply card. And the supply cards have a dice value on them. So the captain is going to be rolling dice to try to get three of a kind, or four of a kind if you're battling a larger thing. He has three rolls to get three of a kind. So you're trying to get him as many dice as possible unless, unless you are the thing, in which case you want to turn in a negative dice. The captain has received three cards. He lays them out. Four dice. Great. 
That's pretty good. So we take four dice, like so. We roll them, and we have three shots to get three of a kind. So I've got two, three, four, five, great. I guess I'll stick with nothing. I'm gonna try it again. Now if I'm the imitation captain, I can really mess with this roll, it's bad. So here's two threes. I need one more three to beat the thing. If we do it, we don't. We do not beat the thing. If the thing is not defeated in battle, all the remaining room chips from that sector are mixed up and placed back in the rooms, meaning the thing skittered off and he's in a different room now, and we don't know where he is. So let's say our team has gone to the shed, and they somehow cannot pass the, they pull a different card that is not the Petri dish. That means you fail that particular mission log, which means you have to deal with contagion. If you fail to pass a mission log in a room, you, your infection tracker goes up one. So in this case, now we're at smoke in the current room. So we're gonna add some smoke to the shed. Whenever your team clears a sector, they have to deal with assimilation, which is what happens when you enter a new sector and people are potentially um, infected with imitation blood. So the captain will take the blood sample deck, shuffle it up, and then you're gonna deal one of these to each player. So we'll deal four. The other four go back down here, because we're playing four players. And then each one will get one of these. And what you'll do is, You'll take the card you're given and the card that you already had. You're going to look at them secretly. Woohoo! And then you're going to, to return one of them face down to give the captain to discard. If you had a human card and you were given an imitation card, you have to return the human card. You are now an imitation. Once your team is cleared out Sector 3 and accomplished all of these objectives, it's time to escape. The current captain nominates another player to be the final captain, who will determine which crew makes it onto the helicopter. Now the goal of the captain, the final captain, and the, the humans is to be on the helicopter without, without an assimilation character. The assimilation is trying to sneak out of the helicopter and convince them that he's okay. And that is The Thing, Infection at Outpost 31. Highly recommend it if you like social deduction type games with a little bit of board game playthrough slash clearing of the level situation. But it's really a great tabletop conversation piece as far as who is the imitation. Highly recommend it here at Board Game Cavern. My name is Brooks. Thanks for watching.